Hello people, I am Javi Kowei, joined by Achara Kirk. Hiya! We're going to look at the trailer for Lucifer, starring Mohan Lal, and it's directed by Prithviraj Sukumaran, and it's produced by Antony... <laughs> Parum Bavur. How fortuitous. Yes. The screenplay is by Morali Gopi. We don't have headphones to listen to this trailer in the most optimal way, but uh, we've got a nice Bose speaker here. So okay. it'll be all right. Oh, I felt that. <laughs> ുംയിലാഖമാരായിട്ട് <laughs> ചെറിയുള്ളിച്ചാണ് <laughs> This is the world's biggest comedy babe. It's called Indian politics. Z category drugs. Kerala thile unchecked i land shake and lose over him. That's my offer. Give me one good reason not to kill you. You tham nanne tinne tamila. Tinne tinne tamila. Oh. Kill that bastard. I thought that was beautifully shot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was a lot of a lot of great shots. I mm -hmm. I really couldn't tell you what the story was, but I loved one of the lines, which was this is not a story between good and evil. Yes. This is a story between evil and evil. I'm that like, was a brilliant line. That's a dope line. Yeah. I like that. I mean, well, that's the translation that we got. Yeah. That might be even cooler in the original language, but I really, really, really like the way that this is shot. That's why this movie has my 10 bucks already. Like, I want to see this for the visuals. I don't really understand what's going on, politically speaking. Like, it's kind of talk... I guess it's about it's a political drama and there's, like, crime and whatnot. I get yeah. all that. Uh, I, I'm getting hints as to what we're going to kind of explore in the movie and the style of action that we might have. But I just really like the way it's shot, the colors, how vibrant it is, mm -hmm. the framing, the aesthetics of it all. Yes. That is the the major appeal here for me. Of course, you know, the main actor, I've watched him before in Drishyam, and I thought he was really cool there. If you guys haven't seen our review for that, it's with Raw 2.0, and there will be a link in the description below, as well as a button at the end of this video, and maybe even a little button somewhere above our heads if you're watching this on the right platform. <laughs> so it's called a card. This was also presented in 4K. At the beginning, I was like, I felt that, in case you didn't know what I was talking about, this was mixed in, in at least stereo, and so the sound traveled from left to right. Oh. So that's why they wanted you to listen to it with headphones, because it would just fundamentally sound so much better. Like I see. They worked hard at the sound design mm -hmm. of this film, of the trailer. I actually used that once for one of my videos, for when we went to the Taj Mahal. I did a little thing at the beginning, I said the best way to experience this is with headphones. Additionally, the best way to experience that video is not with the YouTube app. The YouTube app throws everything off by a second. It's really annoying. I really, really dig this stylistically. Even though I don't really know who exactly is who in this movie, they all seem like really interesting characters. Yeah. They obviously are 
kind of vying for power. Well, I think the thing that's interesting as well is like our favorite line in the trailer says, it's not a battle between good and evil, it's evil versus evil, and right. he's the evilest of them all. So basically, we're looking at an anti-hero, but I'm just wondering if there's going to be anything redeemable about him so that we feel okay about rooting for him, or are we just relishing in the fact that he's so evil and maybe does all the deepest, darkest things that we maybe think about doing but wouldn't do I, because I think we have like the Punisher. It's like the Punisher. It's like Jack Reacher. It's like Mel Gibson and Payback. Yes, they're bad, but they're good. Like right. they're the protagonist. They, yeah, that's the thing. Like yeah. they have to have some little bit of good to make us be like, yeah. yay, we're rooting for you, even though you're not a very good person by society standards. Right. I mean, he's gonna do the things that we wouldn't do necessarily. Yeah. He's gonna do the things that you know, Clark Kent or Batman might not do, mm -hmm. but he'll take it to the levels he has to to make things happen, to make moves, because it, it's like the Punisher. In the way. That's how I'm seeing this. He's like, right. he's, like, he's like that character because he has to be. This is totally off topic, but you know, maybe it's not off topic completely, but the severing of Jesus' head from the crucifix mm -hmm. is a really, really, really big deal amongst Christians. Like, that is a huge, huge no-no. Uh, I think it's probably the same across the all board. All religions? Yeah, yeah but it's like... Yeah, you Buddha's head, oh, boy. Yeah, but in, ca in the Catholic religion, because I grew up Catholic, there's a, a, a huge emphasis on the statues, on these icons, mm -hmm. and when something like that breaks, it's a huge deal, and it... it <laughs> I don't know how to explain it properly, but I think you guys get the point. And so I'm reminded of this random instance. I just thought it was a great opportunity to share this story. So I was in fourth grade, I was in Catholic school, and there was a statue of Mother Mary uh -huh. on like this little thing where we put our lunch boxes and whatnot. And like for whatever reason, we, we were like doing stuff around the classroom and these kids were messing around and they knocked over Mary, who was inside of this um, bag. Uh -huh. She fell over and her head fell off because it <gasps> hit the ground. Uh oh! And the whole class went silent. I was so happy I wasn't part of that situation. I was on the opposite side of the classroom. And normally I'd be found next to the trouble. I wasn't anywhere near the trouble this time. <laughs> I was like... You were like, it wasn't me. Whew. I didn't do it. Uh, I had nothing to do with that. I'm not going to hell. They are. I'm all oh right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I don't believe in that. But that is like a notion, which is like if you vandalize a religious icon of any kind, it's just really, really bad yes. in the Catholic Church. And so uh, I think it is on par with going to hell. Like, like that's a punishment. And that's pretty much the go-to punishment for everything in Catholicism. Like, if you don't go to church, you're going to hell. That's what that reminded me of. For me, growing up Catholic, that was an intense moment to see that. Like, even though I'm not religious, I'm not into that anymore. I don't go to church. It's not a thing for me. It still hits you on a visceral level because I grew up with that. Well, even just the title of the movie, Lucifer, and then the dialogue at the end where they're kind of like comparing him to all of the evilest characters yeah. in various religions. I mean, characters is the wrong word. I'm not laughing at her or the movie. I'm laughing at something that I did a long time ago. Oh, okay. It was okay. for a South Indian film called 24. I created a character called Evilic Evil Sin or something oh, like that. Oh, that's right. That's you what, did, yeah. That's, that's what it sounded like you said for a second. I got happy. No. So. No, but I, I mean, like, he's compared to all of these evil beings, Characters evil is a people good word. Yeah, in, yeah. in religion. It's really setting him up to be the evilest of the evilest of the evil, you Well, know? you kind of have to do that. I mean, it, in order to strike fear into your enemy, you have to have that kind of persona about you. Your reputation has to kind of precede you in that way. That's why, you know, Batman's enemies are afraid of Batman. That's why right. Jack Bauer's enemies are afraid of Jack Bauer, because he's willing to do some crazy shit. So, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I, I imagine that's the reputation he exactly. has. He's not some dude you want to mess with or even, you know, get ice cream with. Like, you just don't want to mess with him. He's a big, big badass. That's how they're portraying him, at least... That's how they're speaking about him. You didn't see him do too much in the film. You did see him kick a, a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. the interesting thing is as well, like he's so badass that he barely spoke in the trailer. There's just a whole bunch of shots of him walking and looking intense. Right. And just being there and just like beating people up. Right, you get you get the idea as yeah. to, to what's going on here with him. Again, I go back to the thing that is intriguing me the most is just the way that this is shot. Mm -hmm. Prithviraj Sukumaran, I am very curious about your work, man. It's looking really, really cool so far. Anyways, you guys, do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
be honest, be verbose. Let us know your thoughts, not only on the trailer, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Check out Ashara Kirk on the social media, as well as Jabby Kuei, both on Twitter and Instagram. If you could give us a follow there, that would be super appreciated. <laughs> and if you're already following us, thank you. And if you don't want to follow us, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kuei, this is Ashara Kirk. Peace out.